Good evening. Okay, guys, good evening. Okay, we are going to start our 19th class. And the main objective for this class is that we are going to work with the conditional sentences. We are going to uh, study the structure that it has since we have um, not only one type of conditional sentences, we have like several types. Uh, we are going to start just with one, right? In this class, we are going to start with the zero conditional sentences. What do we have for the zero conditional sentences? First, what is a conditional sentence? That is the first question that I have here. In the, if you're going to start uh, checking about uh, this topic, you will find out that for conditional sentences, we have zero conditional, first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. There are some others that they call them type zero, type one, type two, or type three. But both of them means the same. You can call them zero, Zero conditional or type zero, and it doesn't matter. And even though we have the different kind of uh, uh, types of conditional sentences, this is going to be our topic. Zero conditional. When I say conditional, what comes to your mind? What comes to your mind if you think about this word, conditional? Do you have any idea? Any idea about conditional? 
No. Okay. I'm going to give you what conditional means in these sentences. For example, in this structure of these sentences, we are going to have like two parts, the first part, the second part of a sentence, in which we are going to have one condition and one result. One condition, one result. This is, this is uh, something like basic. And we are going to understand the sentences like this. What about if I ask you in this moment, what do you have to do if you want to pass this course? What do you have to do if you want to pass this course? Can you tell me? Hello. What do you have to do if you want to pass this course? Well, only Osvaldo. Osvaldo, you are the only one <laughs> available. <laughs> If uh, you, I pass the we don't course, have options. <laughs> I'm going to the party. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, but in that party, you practice with your classmate, right? That is why. <laughs> okay. But w w there is one condition for you if you want to pass. Right? What do you have to do, Osvaldo? To study. <laughs> you don't have I, any other option? I, I do the homework. Aha, uh -huh. you have to do your homework. You have to practice if you want to pass the, the course, okay? We are thinking about a result from one uh, first condition. Okay, Elsie. Elsie? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi. Thank you, evening. Elsie, hey. what do you have to do if you want to pass this course? I, I, I want to inscribe in other course. <laughs> <laughs> the next level. <laughs> no, but what do you have to do if you want to pass? Um, you have to do something. <laughs> what do you have to do to pass this curse? Um, you have to study. You have to do your homework. You have to practice. You have to interact with your classmates. All those aspects are the activities that you have to do if you want to pass, right? Okay. Okay. Because in this moment, what we are trying to understand is what is the meaning of conditional? What is conditional? It is easy. 
it is a condition that you have in case you want to achieve something else. For example, let us imagine. Usted quiere ir a un concierto. ¿Qué tiene que hacer para ir al concierto? First, you have to have money. Yes. Ah, uh, yes? Yes. Okay. Y para obtener ese dinero, what do you have to do? I have to work. Ah, okay. Okay. Entonces. Going to the concert depends on a previous information. For example, I have the concert. Concert. That is the result. Pero para ir al concert, hay una condición. I have to have money. And to have money, I have to work. So I say that I have to work if I want to go to the concert, right? There is a condition or I have to have money if I want to go to the concert. No. Pero no puede ir al concierto if you don't have money, right? So we are getting just the information, okay? We are getting the information about what is the condition. No hay nada. No hay ninguna acción in the conditionals que no tenga un resultado. For example, una condición lógica. In the morning, if you get up late, ¿cuál va a ser el resultado? You going to be late in the work. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. You going to be late. Y todavía worst. And if you are late in your job, what happened? This can't. This can't. Really? Yes, if you are late. Okay, so we are just talking about some facts that they have certain results. In this zero condition now, we have these facts that are general true or scientific facts. The condition always has the same result. That's it. The condition has the same result. For example, something logical. If you stand in the rain, what is the logical result? I am sick. You get wet. Okay, you get wet or you get sick too, right? Another one. If you hit ice, which is the logical result? It melts. That is something logical. Because that is a fact. And that is something scientific facts. Porque no puede ser de otra forma que si usted pone un trozo de hielo al calor, what is going to happen? Ya voy. Se derrite. Ya voy, ¿Quiere usted o no? 
Pero el hielo se va a derretir. These are facts. Facts. Sí, no, no se rompa esta siguiente. Ok. In English, we have different kind of conditional sentences. Hay algunos que no son facts, son cosas que usted desearía que pasaran, pero en realidad no tiene. Otros son situaciones que ya pasaron y usted hubiese deseado no tenerlas. Different situations, but we have, that is the reason for us to have esto. Zero conditional sentence, first conditional sentence, second conditional sentence, and third conditional sentence. Which is the one that we are going to study, the, the examples that we have seen? They are zero conditional sentences. These are like the base for you to understand. But these are facts. Aquí no hay nada hipotético, nada que usted desee. No, aquí todos son hechos reales. Que si usted se levanta tarde, usted va a llegar tarde al trabajo. That's it. ¿O puede ser lo opuesto? No. Or, if you go to bed late, lo lógico es que you get up late. A menos que ponga la alarma. <laughs> right? But, it happens. Que aunque usted ponga la alarma, si usted se fue a acostar a las 2 de la mañana y a las 4 ya se tiene que levantar, maybe, Maybe you are not going to listen to the clock alarm. And then you're going to be late. Right? So these are facts. Yes, Berta? I go job tired. Or sleeping. Uh -huh. When you go to bed late, you get up late. Like... The result. Okay. There is another aspect about the zero conditional sentences. First, the first act aspect, very important, are that they are facts, scientific facts. If we can see now the structures that they have, we can separate them into sentences with one idea. One idea with two sentences. Let's see. I have here, and I'm going to Split this. This is the condition. This is the result. If you stand in the rain, you get wet. If you hit ice, it it melt. It melts. One of them. It's called independent sentence. The independent clause. Which of them do you think is the independent? If we have one independent, so it means that the other one is the dependent. To have a complete idea. If we check the first one, if you stand in the rain, you get wet. Which one 
which of the two sentences do you think it is the independent? Can you repeat this, please? Which of the two sentences do you think it is the independent? From the sentence, from the uh, idea, if you stand Tradition. in the rain, you get wet. Which is the independent sentence? If you hit yes. I Another question. What is an independent sentence? If you stand in the rain. Okay, but what is what is independent sentence and what is dependent sentence? I have two sentences. If you stand in the rain, that is one sentence. You get wet, second sentence. ¿Cuál de ellas tiene sentido completo? Separándolas. If you stand in the rain, is the independence. Ok, entonces si yo digo in en Spanish, si usted permanece bajo la lluvia, tiene sentido completo. No. ¿Sentido completo sin necesidad de otra cosa? Si usted permanece bajo la lluvia, o oh, veamos la otra. Usted se moja. Mm -hmm. Si usted pone hielo, um, si usted uh, calienta un trozo de hielo, ¿qué sucede? Se derrite. ¿Cuál de las dos oraciones en cada una de las sentences sobrevive sola? Y que se entienda. The second. You get wet. You get wet. Subject, yes. verb, and complement. Subject, verb. Yes? The result is the independent. Y si esta es independent, how can I call the condition? Depend. Depend. That is depend. Why? Porque solita no sobrevive, porque el significado que da. Si usted permanece en la lluvia, bajo la lluvia, ajá, uh -huh, what happens? You are waiting for the rest of the sentence. So we need to have both sentences para un sentido completo. If you stand in the rain, you get wet. That's why I was asking you, what about if I write a condition from the example that I was asking you at the very beginning? If you want to pass the curse, curse, if you want to pass the curse, uh, in the examples, I have a comma. And then if you want to pass the curse, you have, oops, to practice.
if you want to pass, <clears throat> sorry, if you want to pass the course, you have to practice. Condition and result. Okay. Or I can have another one from the ones that we have been practicing. If you get up late, coma, you have a discount in your job. This is the result. If you want to go to the concert, you have to work. Condition and result. Condition and result. What is another characteristic for the zero conditional? Check it out. Present. Okay. Okay, good. Oops. This one. Stand, heat, get, melts. Want, get up, want, have, have, have. Present simple, present simple. I have here, right? Present simple, present simple. The conditional sentence, present simple. The result sentence, present simple. And that is the characteristic that the zero conditional sentence has. Si usted me le cambia por otro tiempo y me dice, ah, yo voy a poner aquí en pasado. Ok, that is not zero conditional. Voy a utilizar el present perfect. That is not zero conditional. If you want to use present perfect, if you want to use simple past, es cualquiera otra de las estructuras. First conditional, second conditional, or third conditional. But it is not zero conditional. The zero conditional is telling you that you have to have in the condition, simple present. In the result, simple present. If we joined both of them, so we have the zero conditional sentence in present simple. That is what we have. And remember, these are facts. These are not ideas. These are facts. Conditionals, conditioned and result. If close, main close. I was telling you, dependent and independent. Independent. 
main clause. If clause is the dependent. If we don't have these two ideas, that is not conditional sentence. So we have to have two ideas about something, right? Two sentences about one idea, I'm so sorry. Two sentences about one idea. And if I have the condition, and if I have the result, it says, if, if introduces a condition and the main clause is the result. Result, if condition. What happens in the main clauses is conditional to what happens and if clause. As I said at the beginning, this emphasizes the previous information. Zero conditionals are used for facts that are generally true and do not change. Why is this a fact? The example of the ice. Si usted calienta el hielo, se derrite. ¿Alguien lo puede negar? It is a fact. Nobody can deny it. That's what it says that the condition always has the same result. Let's see. Since we have the two parts of the conditional, zero conditional, I have the if condition and the result. I'm going to start like classifying. First, I'm going to divide, okay? Simple present and simple present. If you leave ice in the sun, it melts. Coma. It melts. If we follow this example, if we just try to write down one similar to this one, it is supposed that we are going to have a similar result. Present simple, present simple. Okay? I have more examples in here. It says, if you stand in the rain, you get wet. And in the third one, if you keep milk in the fridge, it lasts longer. ¿Es esto cierto o no? ¿Es un hecho o no? ¿O es algo que yo me he inventado? ¿No? Sí, porque se arruina. A veces se arruina aunque la está en la red. 
but because of the temperature. Mm. Okay. Si la tiene una temperatura óptima, le va a durar más, dice. No es que no se le va a arruinar. Le va a durar más tiempo. Right? For example, maybe it is going to last five days, pero si usted lo deja afuera de la refri, it is going to last only one day. Yes, so, it's true. Okay, it lasts more. Pero si ya la deja 10 días, 15 días, okay, it, it is not going to be okay because it is too much. Pero de 5 días a un día, so it lasts longer. Yes. Okay. Now, with these ideas, we are going to, we're going to try to write down our examples. Our own examples. Only one. Only one. In the chat box, please try to reproduce yours. Think about one idea and let us see if we can get the result. Okay, if you want to work, you have to look for it. Excellent. <laughs> Yes, that is a fact. That is a fact. If you don't look, if you don't look for a job, you won't find it. No le va a llegar a su casa, right? Like, do you want to work? Maybe, maybe, maybe there are some exceptions, right? <laughs> we can have them. Okay, let's see Berta's example. If you stand over the sand, you finish brown. <laughs> okay, lo dijo de una manera muy elegante. You finish brown. Okay, good. I, I don't say it's bronceado in English. <laughs> brunette. Okay, brunette. But, but okay, that's good. okay. But that is okay. Era quemado la idea, pero... I know. Okay. okay. That's good. If you exercise, you have a good health. It is a fact. It is a fact. Okay. Be sure to check this. Yes. Oops. Yes, we are about three minutes para que sonara la alarma. Okay, good. Ya tiene también el, el tino del tiempo, okay? De las... Sienta lo que siente cuando nos despierta antes de tiempo. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, let us, I'm going to check this. Okay, guys, yes, be ready. Okay, Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Berta? Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. 
Jessica Araceli Díaz Rubayos. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Presente. José Adilson Vázquez García. José Remberto Calderón Pacheco. Carlina Loreni Navarro Ruiz. Kenia Lisette Barrera Hernández. Present. Kenia Stephanie Fuentes Reyes. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Maximiliano Adonai Flores. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado González López. Sorry. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Present. Valeria Michel Monje Valencia. Wilfredo Renderos León. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. And Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Okay. Let's see. I have another exercise from Kenya and then she said, if you do an exercise, you can you gain weight. Yes. That's it. Okay. Now that we have understood how to structure the conditional sentence, now we are going to see that we can have the same idea of this conditional sentence just by interchange the order. We are going to place the main clause at the beginning of the sentence. And then the conditions close in the second one. So we are going to interchange them. How come? These are the examples. The condition, if, if you stand in the rain, you get wet, comma, it is necessary, you have to use comma to have it correct, but, can I interchange them, the two clauses? Yes, you can start with the main clause. And then you have the if clause. But, ¿cuál sería la diferencia? If I interchange them. ¿Cuál sería? You get wet if you stand in the rain. But what happens with this information? Oops, I cannot get it. If you if you start with that if clause, you need a comma. You stand in the rain coma, you get wet. But if we interchange them, I am going to start with the second idea. 
you get wet if you stand in the rain. What is the difference that I dropped comma? I don't use comma in the second example. La condition sentence se fue para la segunda idea, no como primera, no como the main uh, clause. The main clause is you get wet. That is the big difference with this, one comma. This is just for grammar. Now, I have another one and it happens exactly the same. I just interchange the ideas. I just moved from one place to the other one, but I have to keep it exactly the same, just dropping the comma. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes? Okay. Yes. Now, I have some exercises for you to complete. Can you check that in chat box, in the chat box, please? We have some online exercises for you to continue working with the zero conditional. Please let us try to work with them and then please try to get your screenshot and post it in the chat box. Let us do it, please. Hi, hi. Yes. Este, you can pass again. The sure. Exercise. Sure. Este, so, I, no lo veo. <laughs> okay, you thank do. you. Okay, good. Teacher. Yes. Solo vamos a, a poner lo, lo de la derecha o todo en el cuadrito. Están las dos ideas. Ok. Están las dos ideas and you have to have both. C complete. Yeah, complete. Ok. Porque dice... If I, entre paréntesis, dice wake up. Ajá, esa es mi duda. Vamos a poner solo Ajá. entre paréntesis. Solo, solo de entre paréntesis. paréntesis. Yes. Okay, okay. Y luego la segunda parte. I. Okay. I. When. Present. Ah. Remember. Present, present. No. Me lo da como mal. Por ejemplo, como dice, if I 
wake up late. Okay. I arrive late to my job. Pero me sale con X. Lo que sucede es que dice, if you wake up, porque luego dice I, y entre paréntesis dice be. Ah, qué mal, qué mal. Entonces qué mal. el verbo a utilizar es sí. el be, in present. ¿Qué mal? ¿Cómo ah, se qué mal? ¿Qué mal? ¿Qué mal? Do you clean with your t-shirt? Para mí no me escrito, pero no me dictan bol. Yeah. 
Ahí está un montón. Y a ver si me funciona porque me sale en español. <risa> ¿Dónde está el comprobador, teacher? ¿O es cada cuadrito este? Cada cuadrito. Ah, ok. Cada cuadrito le va diciendo if it is correct or not. Y ahora que terminamos, captura a todas ahí en el chat box. Some of them, some of them, you got them all correct. Yo corregí la que dice más. <laughs> okay, that is something good. Teacher. Yes. Definitivamente necesito aprenderme los verbos. Porque por eso me salen mal. No me sé mucho. Solo me salieron ya, pero el resto no. Ahí no está bien. You need to practice a little bit more your your verbs. Yes, your vocabulary. Yeah. My vocabulary is no good. <laughs> okay. 
Se puede decir que ahorita quiero comer y apagar la cama. Y no van a ver que estoy comiendo. Ok. Could you, could you observe that when in the negatives, which was the mistake? In the negative, you were writing only not, right? But for present for present simple, which is the negative form? Don't. Okay, don't or doesn't if it is a third person singular. Yes? Yes. Okay, now now let us see, but uh, let me see only Berta and Elsie. Let's see. I send it uh, on WhatsApp. Ah, okay, you send it on WhatsApp. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, but now we are going to do something similar. The system corrected you, right? The, the, the system tells you, okay, this is not correct. This is not correct. You have to do it in this way. Now we are going to do something like similar to that, but um, you're not going to have like the system telling you, this is not correct. Now, I am going to share with you 10 sentences and you need to, and you need to correct them. Ahora es, ustedes buscan el error because there is one mistake in the examples that I am going to share with you. Let me see in here. Okay. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten sentences. I would like you to have a screenshot, or I am gonna do it for you. Let me see. I'm gonna try number one. You have number one there, and then you have number two. Now you have to correct them. But now you're going to work with your classmates, right? Vamos a ver if you can do it. Vamos a ver. El equipo que salga, because I think that there is there will be only one. Let me see. Rose, can I add you? I don't think so, right? Okay, Kenya. Okay. Osvaldo Remberto. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. Okay, Osvaldo too. Let me see. Okay. Let us correct them. And then we are going to Check them here.
lo veo. ¿Cómo? Sí, sí lo veo. Ya lo veo. El, el, el error en la... Pues no veo el error. En la primera no lo veo, pero en la, en la dos, Chowered, creo que no es correcto. En la está primera, pasada, creo. es no sé. if you don't pay. Uh -huh. Es cierto. La segunda es Chowered, todo está en el pasado. Correcto. Tienen que estar en el presente. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Así es, correcto. La segunda es Never Shower. Shower. Find your car on double lines. Creo que en B Pulled, creo que es la otra en la 3. Pulled. If you park your car on double yellow lines, your car will be. Esto. Voy entrando, no se podría hacer, podría tener una multa. Y sería Your car is full ¿Así? ¿Ah? Cuando si no estás en no casa, estuviste. creo que es. Ajá. Entonces no es así. No, yo creo que es is you are is you are not at home. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Entonces no tiene por qué ser negativa, solo dice que la pongamos porque encontremos. ¿no? Sí, porque está en negativo el weren't, solo uh -huh. que está mal porque es es negativo, pero no está en el tiempo correcto que tendría que ser presente. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Me 
friends you don't you are not at home be at home you can call in your permission mm -hmm. Y el will Will también está mal. En la 5. ¿Y de esa? Will. No, porque eso está bien. El Ken está bien. Ok. ¿Mm? Sí. En la 5. Sí, will. solo me... Así que en la 5 el Will nada más. El Will, así es. If you will delete an email. Ay, me encanta mi lápiz. Este. 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 El Will no tiene que ir. Entonces, el Will no tiene que ir. Y dice, send your trash for 30 days. Solo ese. Sí, para mí sí. Ok. Ahí entonces vamos a guardarlo. Y vamos a abrir la otra. La cinco solo debe decir que you delete an email para que estén presentes.
No, pero yo creo que sí va. Porque es como, es como. Como no. que puede suceder varias cosas, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. I don't have any breakfast if I was Eso está en pasado, ¿ah? ¿eh? Sí. Pero esta ¿Cuál? palabra así es o, o está unida. ¿Cuál? Overslept. En la ocho. Permitime. Está en el chat de las cinco, no pusiste las otras. Están ah. en el chat de WhatsApp, en el chat de WhatsApp, búscala. Ah, ok. No la estoy compartiendo. No, no, no. <ríe> ¿Por qué no me dijeron? Según yo, estaba compartiendo. No, solo está todavía la primera, las primeras cinco. Esa <ríe> compartida. Ah, rayos. Bueno. <ríe> Es que no me han dicho. Yo, yo creo que... Eh, creo que esa última está mal. El overslept. Ajá, es que slap. Porque dice... Mm, Sleep. Como dormí demasiado. Algo así. ¿Y si pones overslept? No existe. Significa dormir demasiado o no despertar a tiempo. Ah, pero si no, yo no tengo desayuno. Pero, si no... pero en esa, yo fíjate que esa sí creo que está correcta. Lo que creo que le hace falta es la coma. No sé. I don't have any breakfast. Coma. Ah, lo que pasa es que eh, explicaba la teacher que cuando primero das el resultado y después la condición, entonces no necesitas la coma. Pero en esa no está, no está haciendo eso, porque lo que dice es que él no mira ningún desayuno si se levanta tarde. Por eso. De último tenés el uh, if I overslept. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, cuando, cuando va, va el al principio... del segundo no lleva coma, solo el, al revés, sí. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. ah, cuando bueno, va bueno. al inicio, ahí sí lleva coma. Ah, ok, ok. Ah, pues entonces, ok, gracias por explicarme. Y entonces este, estoy pero... haciendo esto, pues. <risa> la puche. Sí, pero que tiene razón Osvaldo, es overslep, ahí cambia sleep, es overslep, es sleep, ahí es ah, L, sí, G, e, e, P. Está en, en participio, está. Creo que está en participio. No, está en pasado. Sleep, sleep, ah, pasado. Pasado. Ah, okay. Over sleep, es verdad. Así es, correcto. Final way to Final way to get You are trying to get down. Okay. Esa creo que está bien, fíjate. No le veo nada de raro. No, ni yo tampoco, porque fine está en presente, eh, travel está en presente, without es como una parte de la oración, como complemento y a ticket también, todo está bueno. If you are, también está el tiempo to be en la 9. Uh -huh. Yo esa la veo buena, no sé qué dicen ustedes, que está bien escrito. Igual. We are coming back. Be ready, guys.
Okay, guys. Okay. Now let's see, let's see how was the result from your analysis. Okay. Let us see. Okay. Okay. Tell me. Or are you going to share? Yes. Elsa share. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And Dice que no puedo pa pa compartir si alguien más está Okay, I am doing it. I am doing it. I'm going to stop. Okay. Okay. Um, sabe cuál era la primera que está. Sí. Can you see? If you can zoom in a little bit. <laughs> um, yeah, much better. More? Yes, that's okay. Now, yes. I'm going to read. <laughs> okay. If you don't pay on time, you have to pay a fine. Mm -hmm. If you never shower, you are sweaty and smelly. If you park your car on double yellow lines, your car is pull, pull away. If you are, are not at home, you can collect your parcel at the post office. If you delayed an email, it is staying your trash for 30, 30 days. Um, ahora creo que tengo que hacer esta. Hacer esta. Pueden ver esta. No. Not yet. Not no. yet. No. Ay. Siento. Um. Bueno, pues eso es todo porque no puedo poner la otra. Ah, bien, ahorita That's sí. That's all, folks. Creo que sí. Anyway. ¿Ahora? Yes, 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 yes. Excelente. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Normally, uh, uh, if I some some of my classmates can help me. Hey, classmates. Number six. Number six. Normally, you are the chair, let's please. If you return to time, late. Please Number read seven. what happened if you cancel your booking. I don't have any breakfast. If I oversleep, find out what you can do if you are traveled without a ticket. And I always take my umbrella if it rains. No sé si estamos en los en lo correcto, pero esa no le vimos el error, pero... Ok, to number 10. Take number 9, 9, two. nine and 10. Number 9, let's see, find out what you can do if you are travel without a ticket. Ok. Very good. Did ok, just... ya dijo la teacher que estaban buenas, así que estamos bien, bravo. Uh -huh. yeah. There are some details that I am going to tell you, but I'm... But that is a good, a very good job what you have done, right? I have been listening to you and you have been done a great analysis. That's good. But I, I'm, there are some little aspects that I'm going to show you in this moment. Let's see. Most of them, most of them are correct. Let's see. This is what you have done, right? Yeah. Let's see. 
The number three, teacher. Number Why three. The, the, the wrong. And number three, you change and you just say it is pull. Yes. You said, mm, what did I do? Okay. Mm. You omitted oh. you, you omitted ed, oh, but okay. it is with ed because this is a, like an adjective. This is not a verb. The verb is this one. Okay. And the verb is in present. That's why it said if you park your car in double yellow lines, your car is pulled away. No, pero esa creo que se le escapó a la compañera porque habíamos hablado que era pull away, no pull it away. Mm -hmm. Okay. So? Creo que se le escapó nada más. Ok, ajá, ajá. No, es que la teacher sí. le está diciendo que así como está es. Ah. Así, ve. Así, ve. Ah. Y se, se lo quitaron. O sea, que eso ah. no tenía error. ¿Cómo no? Porque antes de esto decía, ¿cómo decía aquí? En lugar de is, déjenme ver, vamos a ver. Dice, will be. dice, will be, will be pulled will be pulled away. So the change is dropping would be yes. is, is. That is. Okay? Si sí, okay. sí, dijimos el is, pero la regamos en quitarle el... El, el ed. Mm -hmm. El ed. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> but that is, that is in number three. Then... The rest of the, the exercises from number five, from number one to number five, they are okay, except that little detail. Only that little detail. Now, okay, for, excellent. Okay, 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 excellent. That is excellent. Good now, for, for this, the second group of exercises, this is what we have. This is what we have. For example, you got, let me see. I think that you did the same here. Hicieron lo mismo aquí, creo. Right? You, huh? you, yes. you uh, didn't add ED. You did the same. Then, también me le quitaron esta S aquí. Okay? No. Let's read what happens if you cancel your booking. Esta S va, porque va in present, right? Thank you. And uh, let's see. Ah, okay. Number nine. No le vieron el error. Okay. It is you are travel. Verb to be another verb. Remember that they cannot be together. Indeed, el que sobraba era to be. If you, if you travel without a ticket. Ah, okay. Okay, the okay. verb to be. Not to verbs. Not to verbs, not to be in other verbs. Okay. Okay. And okay. in the last one, ahí se tenían razón. The last one, Again. it It's has no right. mistake. It has no mistakes. I, I always take my umbrella if it rains. Present simple. That's it. Okay, so you did a great job, guys. Good. Yeah, yeah you did it. Now. Clap. Yes, a clap. A clap for you. <laughs> now, when we were working with this, in our book, we have, uh, um, let me check where it is exactly. In the book, this is. Okay, in the book, we have this. Oops. Here. How to use zero conditional. And we have 
two different parts. In one of them, it is if. In, in the other side, we have when. It says, where does your family go if they need a loan? When my family needs a loan, they go to the bank. My family goes to the bank when they need a loan. In this case, we are using when and we are using uh, if for expressing that condition. And if we express that condition, I'm going to go back and we are going to see this. Check and compare. Uh, eh, use when, cuando es algo indiscutible. Explicó. Uh, well, indeed, no había incluido todavía el when, because this is the first time, the first slide in which I include when. Because in the book, that is what we have. Two different ways. We have the conditional if, but later we have when. What I want to tell you is that it says, we can often, often use when instead of if. And it has the same meaning. For example, if you keep milk in the fridge, it lasts longer. When you keep milk in the fridge, it lasts longer. If you leave eyes in the sun, it melts. When you leave eyes in the sun, it melts. Does the meaning changes? No. No, it's, it's another form to say the same. One sentence, yeah? The same? The same. It is another way to say the same. The only difference is that I am not using the word if. I am using when. That is the only difference that I have here. But I can keep the same structure. And the only word that I am going to replace is when. Right? You see? If you observe here, I have, if you keep milk in the fridge, it lasts longer. When you keep milk in the fridge, it lasts longer. The only difference is the beginning of the sentences. And instead of using if, I use when. And the rest remains the same. You see? That is the only difference that I have, right? Okay. We can use with um, all subjects. All subjects, uh, if, uh, for example, no. if you, if she, if, if we, if they, yes. And when? With when? Yes, you can it's use different. any. Yeah, you can use any subject. You can say when they, when you, when I, when she, when he, or if you, if they. It doesn't matter. You can use with any, any um, subject. In this case, the pronouns. Okay. Thank you. Now we have practice with the sentences that we have online exercises you have checked if we have some mistakes now it is your time for doing for writing your own sentences your own sentences what are you going to do you're going to do it in both ways van a ser five sentences using the conditional sentences and the same sentence, the only thing that you're going to do is adding when. 
for having the two versions. Is it okay? Okay. Is it okay? Okay. Individual. Okay. Yes. That is something individual now. Okay. Teacher. Yes. New sentences of that last sentences. Can you repeat, please? ¿Tenemos que hacer nuevas o las que hicimos? No, nuevas, nuevas. Now, originals. Five with if, if five with when. Yes, or no. but originals. Uh, originals. No copy. No copy. <laughs> originals. Why? Creadas por <laughs> ustedes mismos, okay? Now, because that is what we are going to do. But let me see. Vamos a hacer algo. Lo van a trabajar en equipo, ¿ok? For you to help each other. Y al final se van a producir una ustedes solos, ¿ok? But let us try to do it in team. In, in team. <laughs> in that team. <laughs> ok. Only five. Only five and then five with if and five with when. Yes? It can be, they can be the same. Yes? Yes. Okay. okay, go.
you're not if you're not in group. Falta una. ¿Quién la hace? ¿La hago yo? Go to the doctor. Hey. If you keep your time. Okay. Mm -hmm. If you y lo individual, eh, eso debe ser después, ¿verdad? Creo que sí. Eso debe ser ya, con el, ya al final. Sí, sí después. Ahí está ya la última. Sí. Ahí está la última, ya se las envié. Vaya, solo que ese, el vino puede ir, ¿va? ¿Cuál? Pues sí. El de if I exercise. Ahí te falta if I. If I. ¿A dónde? Solo le pusiste if you. Pero creo que eso está bien. Ahí la correcta es, if you study, you... You... You are a professional. Ah, you, you are, sería verdad. Porque, sí, porque, es, are. porque si le pones, digamos allá en el español, si estudias, tú serás, ahí ya no, ya cambia el condicional. You ¿verdad? are. And you are professional. Ya está. Para hacerlas con hueso, le de cambiarlo. Solo arribita del, del, del. Del if, ponle el when para que ya no vuelvas a escribir. Is anybody going to share? 
<laughs> the exercises. <laughs> yes, Elsie. <laughs> <laughs> Who is going to do it? Hola. Are you going to do it? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Digo porque dedocráticamente. <laughs> <laughs> es que ella escribe bonito, por eso es la única ah, que puede vale. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo estoy en mi teléfono, ella tiene computadora. Ajá, ok. <laughs> She's volunteer. Yes, of course. <laughs> Pero no he terminado la mía por estar escribiendo. Uh. Bueno, ok. Voy a ver si comparto nuevamente. Can you see? Yes. Yes. Okay. A little big, please. More. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, that is okay <laughs> now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now let the guys read them for you. If you are not in good health, go to the doctor. When you are mm -hmm. not in good health, uh, wait, wait, go wait, to wait, the doctor. Wait, 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 wait. ¿Qué pasó ah. ahí? ¿Qué pasó ahí? ¿Qué pasó ahí? ¿Qué pasó ahí? Ya le estamos leyendo nuestro trabajo, teacher. Es que yeah. no queda en futuro. No, oh, no ¿Qué, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó en la segunda oración? Me están dando como un comando. Vaya al doctor. Go to the doctor. Uh, Ajá. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Qué, qué, ¿Qué faltó ahí? You got you. <laughs> okay, if you're not in good health, you're sick. Mm -hmm. It is a fact. It's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> it is a fact. Logical. Yes, it is. <laughs> if you are not in good health, you are sick. When you are not in good health, you are sick. Uh -huh. If you keep your diet, oh, you are healthy. Yes. When when you keep your diet, no sé cómo se pronuncia. You are healthy. If yes. you don't bathe, I am dirty. When I don't bathe, I am dirty. If I exercise every day, I live healthy. When I exercise every day, I live healthy. If you study, you are a professional. When you study, you are a professional. Okay, que no es un fact. Yes. <laughs> no es un fact porque no. No, no es como, no siempre sucede. That it think it very fast. Think it very fast. <laughs> no, I mean, it is because, it is not just because you study that you are a professional, right? So it is not a fact. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is true. If you study, uh, well, it is not a fact. <laughs> <laughs> if you if you study, you 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 learn. Ah, oh. uh, well, yeah. Uh -huh. If you study, you learn. That's it. This if you study, fact. you approve the years. <laughs> okay, yes, that is another fact. If you study, you pass the course, the test. Ese es un fact. Okay. That, that's it. But only if you study. If you don't study, you failed. That is a fact. Okay, guys.
We study a lot, teacher. I know, I know <laughs> that you study a lot. <laughs> okay. Very good, guys. And now let us just complete this ones together. And we are going to finish. This is what you have in your book. Let's see. It says, if I, between parentheses, wake up late, I, so you read, we have one, two, three, four, five, six exercises. And you are five, right? <laughs> okay, Berta, Elsie, Remberto, y Osvaldo, only four, right? And then together, Fair. okay? First, uh, if I wake up late, I am late for work. Excellent. Number two. Uh, if I someone someone wake me, I am very angry. <laughs> wake me up. Wake me up. Uh, wake me up. If someone wake. wakes, if someone wakes me up, wake okay, me up, I am angry. But Elsie, in this moment, we are just working with the exercises that we have there in the in the screen. Ah, sorry. <laughs> Pensé que estábamos haciendo lo que teníamos que hacer. I know. Okay, number okay. number two. Who's gonna do it? Number two. My son born burns, uh -huh, that's burns it. the food if he cooks alone. That's it. Number three. Employees not eat. Can you repeat? If employees no it not no he no eat. Ajá, pero la negación, la negación, that's it. La negación tiene que ir acompañado con auxiliar. Don't eat. Ajá. They don't eat, don't be healthy. Ahí no puede ser don't be porque el be tiene otra forma de negación. Are, ¿cómo es la negación con are? Aren't. Ok, that's it. They aren't they healthy. They aren't healthy. Ok, good. Number four. Number four. Let me see. We When she... No, you. <laughs> Is missing... The N? Oh, yes, yes, it is missing letter N. When she pays her bills on time, she don't, doesn't have to pay extra. Yeah? Money. Extra money. Okay, good. Sure. Number five. Go ahead, Roberto. If the income doesn't good. Mm -mm, between parentheses. Is. Yes. Is. 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 Incomes. If the incomes. Plural. Oh, yes. Is if it comes. It's good. Mm. Or. Mm. Or. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tell me, please. If the incomes are, are good, good. Mm -hmm. an employee receives a bonus. A bonus. Okay. Egg number six. We we are sale 
No, no we are products. no, porque no lleva to be, solamente el sell. Solo we sell, we, we sell more products. We sell more products when, when we will know the customer. When, when we know the customer net needs. Okay, that's it. You got a 10. <laughs> we finished the class yeah, today. Yeah, we finished. Yes. yes. We finished. Just the attendance. Wait, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> that we are missing the, the attendance. Ya casi, ya casi. Berta, okay? Berta Lilian del Carmen Centeno Portillo. Present. Elsa Benedicta Magaña Umaña. Present. Eric Isaac Chavez Hernández. Jennifer Elizabeth Evora Santos. Jessica Araceli Díaz Ruballos. Jessica Carolina Rodríguez Aldana. Present. José Adilson Vázquez García. José Remberto Gar Calderón Pacheco. Jessy García, no. <ríe> Carlita Lorena <ríe> Navarro Ruiz. Kenia Lizeth Barrera Hernández. Kenia Stephanie Puentes Reyes. Ok, Kenia. Kerin Alexis Escobar Cruz. Lucía Verónica Nerio Márquez. Present. Mateo de Jesús Torres Romero. Maximiliano Adonai Flores Escobar. Present. Osvaldo Vladimir Garay Pineda. Present. Patricia Concepción Alvarado López. Present. Rosa Esther Rivera Hernández. Hay un montón de palabras. Present. Valeria Michelle Monje Valencia. Wilfredo Renderos León. Wilmer Alexander Mendoza García. Y Amanda Gabriela Escobar. Present. Ok. Give me a second. Okay, guys. So, thank you very much for being here. I appreciate your participation. And see you next Monday. Take care of yourself. Okay. Good night. Happy weekend. So do you. Monday. Good night. Good night. Finally, Berta. <laughs>